Good day, folks. I've made one of the, um, I've connected one of the cells with the solid state electrolyte to the scope because most of these things through the electron flow, may it be solid state or non solid state, when there is um, electron flow through quantum tunneling or other mechanisms uh, in all cells, basically, there's always the random. Um, it's not perfect DC, there's always those ACLE fluctuations, and that's what I'm interested specifically in this one here, how well it's performing, because John and his cells had a lot of random spikes going on, and sure enough, I'm getting the same spikes John was getting, and they're pretty random actually, you can see those spikes there. And... Um, it seems that it might be sensitive because when I hit it, look what it does. I get peaks. So maybe sensitive to vibration. Don't hold your breaths yet. I haven't really done the research on this, but it's interesting anyways. Let's see if we can get a better... Uh, slower version you see how the randomness of those spikes can't really get a lock in frequency but they're almost see that the um, transients are almost a hundred millivolts so what I'm getting at folks is perhaps with this setup somehow I don't know yet we could take advantage of the AC part of it which is naturally part of these cells I don't know if we could use coils to loop them, to feed them back. Maybe increase the potentials that way as well, a kind of self-oscillating version. Because you know what I'm getting at, right? Um, again, just a first step of something interesting. I just thought I'd share this with you because John was noticing exactly the same effects. I didn't think it was going to do this, at this extent anyways, that I could measure it at home basically. So here it is, just keeping you all posted on everything.